In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this vacuum fixture. A few days ago, I attempted to make a uh, small plaque. If you look closely, you can see some irregularities caused by the stock pulling up in the center a bit. Hence, the vacuum fixture. This particular fixture is designed to hold a 14 by 11 piece of stock, shown here. The design of the fixture is very simple. It consists of two pieces of MDF 15 inches wide by 16 inches tall. The bottom half shown here is essentially just a bunch of pockets cut with a 1 8 inch uh, end mill. We also have a series of pilot holes to help align the uh, top component and the bottom component of the fixture. The top component has a series of pockets which I call vacuum pockets and then a small diameter hole that goes through and mates up with the channels we created in the lower component. Doing the holes this way makes the fixture a little more tolerant for cut throughs if you're actually uh, milling a piece. In addition to the uh, vacuum holes we also have uh, mounting holes that made up with those we added to the bottom portion of the fixture. These have countersinks as well so that uh, any screws they use will be below the surface. The final feature are these small pockets on the, the left hand side and the bottom of the fixture. These are used to hold optional dowels uh, to act as a fence system for quickly aligning your stock. Here I'm using the CNC to mill the uh, bottom portion of the fixture. You can actually cut these a lot faster, but here I'm being uh, fairly conservative at 50 uh, inches per minute. Once the milling operation is done, I take a sander and lightly go over the surface to re remove any of those uh, frays. With the bottom component complete, I start uh, milling the top. I've been experimenting with the feed speeds, and here I think I have it up to uh, 100 inches a minute. Here I'm uh, drilling the through holes. Again, I clean up the completed component with a uh, sander. With the two components now complete, I place the top component on top of the bottom component and secure with some number eight one half inch wood screws. I do recommend using a small clamp to firmly hold the two components together while you're securing them. There are also four uh, mounting holes in the center of the fixture as well. The one quarter inch by one half inch long dowels are then added. These will form a fence so I can quickly uh, align my stock. With the fixture mounted on my CNC I secure a five inch by seven inch piece of uh, Sintra. Notice how I've had to cover all the uh, uh, non-used holes just to make sure I have a good vacuum. A little sanding to clean up the burrs. I 
paint the uh, stock, making sure I fill in all the engraved uh, portion. Once the paint is dry, I give the surface a good sanding. So the first test turned out pretty good. The uh, background, no lines, no imperfections, perfectly flat. The paint uh, went on perfectly. Here are a couple plaques I made for my bartender bill. I didn't seal the MDF, and you shouldn't either if you're using a vacuum that doesn't have a separate cooling fan. You need that extra airflow through the system to help keep your uh, vacuum from overheating. I've done a write-up on my website as well and have provided some drawing files, so uh, feel free to, to visit and, and let me know what you think. So until next time, thanks for watching.